Hi, this is John with Estimator for SketchUp, and today I wanted to do a tutorial on a bathroom renovation. And I actually just went on the warehouse, 3D warehouse, and found this cool modern bathroom that was set up for V-Ray, which I use for rendering. So uh, sort of a double whammy there. I thought it was pretty cool. It was a great model, full of a lot of detail. But also, um, when I share this thing, you guys that, that use V-Ray will have uh, a cool model to, to work with and learn from. All right, so this is the 2D rendering that was developed by this. Whoever put this together was a great artist. Um, so basically, looking down on it, this is sort of a bird's eye view. Uh, looking down inside the bathroom, um, I took off the ceiling so we could see down in there. Uh, but you can see it's loaded with a lot of accessories and so forth, magazines and towels and things that we're not worried about estimating right now. So I've put those on a layer called accessories, and I'm just going to cut those off. So now we're looking at just the basics here. So. Uh, and then I've got uh, the ceiling is on a separate uh, scene here, a separate layer, so I could cut that off and on. Um, but you can see it's cool. It's got this kind of uh, soffited look, a dropped look here and there. So they've got uh, indirect lighting back behind there. Very modern, very cool. Um, these recessed lights in here, and we'll be adding a price to those as well. So, um, so yeah, we'll just jump into this thing. I'm going to cut the ceiling back off and... Uh, we'll get to the sort of to the root of it. I'm going to again, I'll cut the accessories off. And um, so we've got this tile uh, that looks like it's uh, consistent on the floor and the walls. Um, there's some like pencil mold or decorative like metal. Uh, uh, these are usually in strips of like a 12 inch strips, one foot long. And then you got another decorative tile in here. Some nice light fixtures, the mirror, faucet, undermount sink inside this countertop. Um, another decorative tile inset in here with another light fixture. Some uh, glass shelves and this little built-in over here. Some glass shelves, that same tile backdrop with a you know, recessed light in there. Um, nice little built-in cabinet. A little window sill, a wall mount toilet. Toilet paper holder and towel bar that we can put in there. And um, this door. And so what we'll do is a combination of tools uh, that we can estimate this entire bathroom. So we'll have uh, estimator. Uh, we'll also um, try out estimator uh, takeoff length for a couple of things in here and uh, takeoff area for some of these things. And with estimator, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about um, taking off a certain area. I mean, the tile could be done using just this material. So everywhere this material is used, you use its square footage or its area, or you could use takeoff area to do those things. So again, we're gonna do a combination uh, of those. Okay, so we'll just jump in. Let's start out with all this tile first. Okay, so I'm going to just take in my materials. Um, I'm going to just take the, the dropper and see what that is. So that's this gray tile. All right, so when I go to open up Estimator and I choose the Materials tab, and inside that Materials tab, when I, uh, excuse me, when I, when I select everything that's in that, uh, that selection with that tile, you can see that I've got a bunch of different materials in here. And we said it was this um, gray tile. So I'm gonna choose the gray tile. All right, so in these tiles, let's just say, um, I'm gonna use my cost code for tile. And let's just do the, um, let's do uh, materials only right now. So I'm gonna call this uh, gray tile material. Um, I don't know what those are. They might be 12 by 24. So let's just say 12 by 24, whatever those are. You can choose your vendor if you like. And I'm going to say to take the square feet and um, I'm going to use a rate of, let's say that this material is, um, I don't know, five bucks a square foot. Again, I'm going to make up numbers in here because I have no idea, but we're going to just do some guessing in here. Let's put maybe 10% waste, and I'm in Virginia, I'd have sales tax of 5.3%. So um, I'm gonna save the changes to that. And then you can see everywhere we've got that tile, we've instantly got our price in there, just for the materials. Well, let's add, uh, let's add another cost associated with that gray tile. So we're gonna hit the plus button here, go back into my tile, and I'm gonna say labor, and I'm gonna say gray tile labor, and uh, choose your vendor if you care to. And I'm gonna use the square feet. And uh, let's say he's $5 per square foot 
for the labor. No, uh, let's put that same waste factor in there. No tax in this case. Save changes. All right, so now we're up to um, a little over $4,000 for this particular gray tile. Now, let's look at, um, at this tile here, this decorative tile. So again, I'm just taking the little dropper tool, selecting that and it's motif tile, according to this. So we'll select in the pull down this motif tile. And that's gonna be a nice decorative one. Materials, um, let's put uh, decorative tile and square feet and uh, let's put this stuff in as maybe 15 per square foot long let's you know some of that stuff gets kind of pricey 10 percent waste and i've got tax all right so again i'm going to add an associated cost to that and get to my tile and do my labor and i'm going to say decorative tile labor and I'm going to put in square feet. Let's put that same $5 per square foot. Same 10% waste. All right, so now we've got that. And any time we can run a report on this and run this HTML report, and we can see that here's our decorative tile. Um, there's the gray tile. Uh, here's the labor for the decorative tile and the labor for the gray tile. So we're up to $5,000 so far. Okay. So now we've got um, we've got a different tile in here. Let's look what that one is. Um, that one is the line text tile. So let's uh, let's go back to our materials tab and say this line text tile. And I'm going to come into here as a tile material, and this is a textured tile. Um, let's use square feet. And this stuff's probably pretty pricey too. Let's put it in at $10 per square foot. Put some waste, put some tax. All right, and then I'm gonna add an associated cost for that. Tile, labor, and um, we'll say textured tile labor. Again, square feet. And $5 per square foot. And the same amount of waste. All right, so that takes care of our textured tile that's in there. All right, now we've got these little uh, these little stripes, these little pieces here that are metallic strips. So this might be a good time to introduce takeoff length. So in takeoff length, that's the way we can accumulate links of these. So let's just pretend that these are 12 inch strips that we're gonna buy, these metallic strips. So when we have takeoff length here, we can have all these different collections and these are completely customizable to, to what you want uh, in here. So for instance, in this case, um, I really don't have anything to choose from um, in this situation. So let's go into uh, edit our collections. And when we do this, it's gonna open up a, uh, a CSV file in Notepad here. And I'm gonna come in and say under, um, uh, what are we under here? Walls. Let's put in here, come in and say, um, uh, let's say pencil tile strip. And then save this. We'll close it. We're gonna refresh the collections. And then the next time we come into here, we can come in under our walls and say, here's our pencil strip, okay? And I want to actually, I'm going to use the picking command in here. I could trace over these, but I'm just going to use the picking tool and start selecting these uh, edges of this particular pencil tile. And you see how it's changing to the orange color. It's magenta when I hold my uh, cursor over it. And once I select it, and my totals are growing over here in the total length. But it gives us a good visual to make sure that we've caught all these pieces. So that's where that pencil molding ends there. We got another section there. Uh, we've got more on this wall. It turns the corner. And these are like uh, sort of sort of half round metallic strips sometimes. Uh, they're pretty popular. I do, do quite a bit. I'm a custom home builder, so I use these kind of things a lot. 
uh, very popular these days. So we're going to continue going around, just again, selecting all these edges. All right, so it doesn't matter which side of the edge or which I'm choosing. So there's that looks like it's got all of our pencil strips in there. All right, and you can see we've got 74 feet here. And what it's also doing is it's creating a layer. Now that we've done this over in your layers, you notice it's created a layer for that because it's that's what it's put it on. So I'm going to just hit um, hit escape here. There we go. Spacebar got rid of that. So 74 feet of that pencil material. So now what it's done is it's put it's put it all on that uh, in a group. So you can see here that if I was to um, isolate that, I'm going to double click on that. And this is hiding rest of model. Great shortcut if you don't use it. I use Shift H as my shortcut to hide rest of model. But you can see all those segments were captured. And those were the pencil stripe or pencil strips. Okay. So I'm just going to select on that again and make sure that that is what it is. You can see it over in my entity info. So now when I go over to layers, I'm going to look for, excuse me, I'm going to look for that particular pencil tile strip. Okay. So now I'm going to say tile uh, materials, and this is going to be pencil strip. I don't know what you really call those things, but that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take the lineal feet of it. And in this case, we're going to, um, well, it's a, on a per foot basis. So let's say those things are 12 inches long. We don't have to use a multiplier in there. And let's say that they're $8 each. And we're going to put some waste in there and we're going to put some sales tax in there. So you can see up in here, I need 81 of those pieces. So that's $682 for those things. And, um, you know, let's, um, let's just say that the labor, uh, I wouldn't pay my guy per those to put in. That would just be part of the wall labor as he's going. So let's just not add that. So that takes care of our tile at this point. Um, we've accounted for all the different types of tile. So now when I select the entire model at this point that we have budgeted, this is just all tile. So $20,000 in tile. All right, so let's do a couple of other things. We'll use takeoff area to introduce that. We just showed you takeoff length. Takeoff area uh, is a way that you can um, uh, take off areas for that you're not going to use the materials for. You could, but for instance, we've got a shower pan going in here, and I got to pay you know 20 bucks or so a square foot for a shower pan. And instead of modeling it, it's it's just easy for me just to say, okay, let's go ahead and go into takeoff area. And again, we have the same collections in here. And if I go into um, flooring, for instance, you see I've got tile and sheet one. I've got all these different things, but there's nothing that quite suits that. So let's go into our collections and we're gonna go under uh, floors right in here. And I'm just gonna make up one. And again, just hit the little space bar to get them to line up like you see in there. And I'm gonna say shower pan. And then I'm going to save it, close it and refresh the collections. Now when I come into here and I've got my floors, I should see shower pan and I can select that and you can choose a, you could actually choose a material file or a color or whatever you want to do. Um, but let's say that, um, we're just going to see if we can't pick, see how nicely it picked right over some of these faces. So let's just say that we're going to pick that face. And you can see it's 21 square feet and it's also come over here and it's created, um, it's created a layer for us that is takeoff area. Uh, and that would be the shower pan. So I'm going to come over into our layers again and select this. And then that takeoff uh, area floor shower pan I'm coming into my tile. And in this case, I'm just going to go to my labor and I'm going to say shower pan and I'm going to use the square feet. And I'm going to put $20 per square foot and save the changes. So that's a $420 shower pan. And I'm just going to cut, keep that on there right now. So there's my shower pan. 
we've got a lot of plumbing fixtures in here. So let's, let's start out with doing this. I'm going to close the takeoff area. Um, so this faucet here, the shower, um, all in one valve and head thing that looks pretty expensive to me. If I go to components, the shower mixer in here, I'm going to say plumbing, uh, let's say plumbing, uh, fixtures, where's plumbing fixtures. There we go. Plumbing fixtures. I'm going to call this a shower, uh, valve and head. And I'm going to come in and say, this thing is probably, I have no idea, but let's put $800 in there for it. And uh, let's put tax. So there's our shower mixer. Uh, let's get our faucet in here. So let's go back to the plumbing fixtures. And we're going to call this um, faucet. And let's say that, that it's 450 bucks. And it's auto saving 5.3%. We're going to save our changes. All right. Uh, we have an undermount sink that you can see here. So let's choose the right thing. And again, plumbing fixtures. And this will be an undermount sink. And let's say it's $350. Again, no clue. We're just making this up. <clears throat> All right. So there's our, our sink then we got a toilet over here so let's come over here to this cool wall hung toilet go back into our plumbing fixtures say wall mount toilet and let's say that that thing is 450 bucks 450 dollars 5.3 percent tax so there's our toilet so that has our plumbing fixtures all right, now at this point, we could go ahead and add a quote in there for our plumber. So let's say we're going to go to plumbing and let's put in uh, just generic code of plumbing. We're going to say plumbing labor and uh, let's just put uh, $3,000 in there for all the piping and labor and, and, and that sort of thing. So we'll save changes. Now that's not going to show up until we say include our quotes down here. Okay. Uh, the reason for that is that I just, as we're going, we like to see how much these individual things cost without muddying up the whole thing here. So at the end of the job or in the estimate, we'll include quotes. All right. So that takes care of all of our plumbing. Let's do electrical. Okay. So we've got these cool little light fixtures here. There's two of them, these wall sconces. So I'm going to go back to components and I'm going to say electrical. And let's go to, um, I don't have electrical fixtures in here. Let's go lighting. That's probably where that would be. There we go. Lighting materials. Okay. So we're going to call this a sconce light. And let's say that that thing is uh, $95 each. Put our tax on there. So when we select both of these, you can see we got $200 in those lights. Quick as that. We got this little small light fixture over top of, of the uh, window, or excuse me, over top of the mirror. And it's just a, um, if I go up here to my entity info, it's not a component. I'm going to right click on that and say make it component and call this a uh, uh, light rail or light fixture. Since we don't have very many of them in there. So now I got my light fixture and I can go back into my lighting again materials and we'll call this uh, vanity light and let's say it's $150 and we got our tax save our changes okay so that's our light fixtures there now we also had a bunch of can lights in here and you can see there's one of them there if I cut the ceiling on uh, let's go into our layers and, and cut that ceiling back on So if I drill into this, you can see that there are um, six of these in the model. So one, two, three, four, five. There's the sixth one there. Uh, oh, there's one right there. That's a different size, perhaps. Yes. So there's three of those. 
All right, so let's come up to these recessed lights and we'll go to our lighting. And we'll say this is a four inch recessed light. And let's put in there that they're $60, not $620, $60 each installed. Let's uh, not put tax on it because I'm paying him uh, just to install those things on a per basis. So let's save the changes on that. So when I've given this group here, I've got three of them that are detected inside that group. And so these perhaps are different. So a little um, tool I think TomTom Tom did. So if I select uh, select active on selected layers. That's not what I want to do. Right click on that instances, select active. So there's three of those six total in the model. So uh, since I'm at edit on that, we're not seeing those. So I'm just going to select one of those. It's obviously a different size. Uh, let's, let's say that that's under our lighting. <clears throat> And let's maybe that's a three inch. I don't even know if they make a three inch, but let's just to differentiate it. Recessed light. And put the same $60 in there. Okay. All right. So now we're going back out. We've got our sconces. We've got this light. We've got our recessed lights. And I think that that's all the lights that we have in this model. Okay. So I'm going to go back out to the bird's eye view here. I'm going to cut off our accessories again. If you want to get technical, you could put in a dollar amount for the um, for the outlets and so forth in there. But for right now, I'm going to go over to quotes. I'm going to add a quote and then put electrical and say this would be electrical um, labor. And let's put fifteen hundred dollars in there for this job and save the changes. OK. So now we include our quotes. You can see that plumbing and the electrical labor go in there. All right. So that takes care of our plumbing and electrical at this point. Now we can just kind of fill in some things in here like this, um, this countertop, for instance. And it is not a component. Oh, it is a component. So let's just uh, come in here and say this would be cabinetry. Um, maybe there's a countertop. Counters? Nope. Let's just code this to our cabinets. All right, so just say cabinets. And we're going to say uh, counter top. And maybe this thing is 500 bucks. Save our changes. So now we've got our counter in there. We've got our sink. We've got our countertop. We've got our faucet. We've got our light fixtures. We've got all of our tile. Let's look at this door. All right, the door here is, um, uh, let's say that uh, it's a whole bunch of stuff in here. If you look at this pull down, you can see a whole bunch of things are in here. <clears throat> but let's just put a price to this door and we'll go to interior uh, trim doors. Let's see, interior doors, interior closed doors. All right, and let's just say uh, door. And it's quantity of one. Let's just put in there. It's $150 each for this pre-hung door tax. Save our changes. We could come in here and put $50 for installing that thing. Perhaps that would take care of our labor in there. All right. So that's our door and we've got our toilet. Now we got some toilet accessories or, or plumbing accessories in here. Let's go with this toilet paper holder. And uh, we're going to come in here to, um, Bath hardware. Let's see. Bath accessories. Nope. Toilet paper holder. Nope. Not sure where the best. Let's put hardware. Hardware. Here we go. Here, hardware materials. All right. So let's call this a toilet paper holder. And um, let's say the thing is $25 each and sales tax. <clears throat> and we've got a towel bar. So we'll come in here to our hardware again. And it's a, say it's a 24 inch towel bar. 
and let's say that that's $35 each in our tax. So there's our tile bar. We've got these cool glass shelves. So um, let's put glass. Uh, let's see what have we here. Shelves. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go right back to the hardware again. So hardware and materials. In this case, we're going to call it glass shelves. And let's put, say, $150 each for that. It's cool little cabinet that's built in in here. We'll say cabinetry. And let's say that this is a uh, built-in cabinet. And let's say that it's $300. Save our changes. So we've accounted for this decorative tile, the glass shelves, the pencil molding, plumbing fixtures, uh, the floor, pretty much got it all in here. So now if we were to select everything and go to uh, adding our quotes and then run a report, there's everything that we've assigned prices to in a pretty quick fashion. Uh, the other thing you might want to do, or you definitely want to do if this is a job you're doing for somebody, is include a margin. And it's a remodel job. Let's say that we're hoping for a 30% margin on here. All right, so now you can see we're up to $40,000 for this remodel. And I go to run this HTML report. It's branded with my logo on there and my company information. I can print it out. Um, and then you've got everything that we've done on a broken out on a cost code basis. So pretty cool little modern bath. I hope that was informative. Um, ah, I think of one thing that we forgot to do, or I forgot to do, is the ceiling. So let's go in here to the ceiling and um, we've got drywall and we've got paint. So if I click on that and I go to my materials, ceiling white's already in here. So let's go to drywall. And let's say that we just call it drywall and we use our square feet of that material uh, that, that's being used there. And let's say it's $40, uh, $45 per sheet. And uh, we'll put waste in there and sales tax. So now we've got our, um, <clears throat> we've got our ceiling in there. So that's 323 sheets. So that is not correct. So obviously, oh, I know what I needed to do. I need to do my multiplier in there. So we're going to divide by 48 for four by eight, four by 12 sheets of drywall. That's more like it. Seven sheets of drywall, $331. All right, there's another thing we could do with that material. Let's say we go and add paint. So paint interior and paint ceiling. Uh, and I have no idea how much I don't pay my painter in that fashion, but let's just say that that bathroom to paint the trim and the ceiling, we're gonna put in there you know, $2 per square foot. So $586 to paint that. So now we drop back out and we select everything. There's our new price. We've got our, whoop, got to include our quotes in there. Now we're up to $41,000. We run our report and now we have everything. So again, I hope this was informative and helpful. And at the end of the day, I'm going to play with this thing in V-Ray so that I get this thing looking cool like this. So anyways, good luck and enjoy. Thanks for watching.